Welcome to the drawing challenge! <laughs> oh, I thought today I might trade in my trademark sketchbook for something a little more well-rounded for the holiday. Yes, I'm going to attempt to put the scariest face possible on this pumpkin right here in five minutes or less. So, are you ready? Here is my time telling device. And begin. <laughs> and I'm going to use a paint marker today. Oh, so how scary can I make it? How frightening indeed. <laughs> So, have all of you out there decorated your pumpkins today? Hmm? How scary have your pumpkins been? Hmm? What do you think are some of the scariest pumpkin designs of them all? <laughs> I suppose if I were properly prepared for such a thing i might go ahead and create maybe a king diamond pumpkin or something else a little more recognizable <laughs> but i do also like the idea of just going freestyle and making what i can make straight from my own imagination So here we go. I'm going to fill that in and darken it. A little strange having this lighter color here, huh? Almost going for a pumpkin henna tattoo. <laughs> All right, going to keep filling it in. Keep on filling, filling, filling. I'm going to get some nostrils in there. Nostrils, some extra wrinkles, some gum lines. So this is freestyle, but in a way, this is also kind of a classic Jack Lantern, but we can change it up. We can add some extra, almost eyebrow scales or scoots we can what else can we do we could just go ahead and add some scales check this out maybe this will just be a reptilian pumpkin after all huh turn this fellow slightly to get the other side using a rounded three-dimensional surface like this is a little bit different than a flat piece of paper you may have to adjust and turn it to get some desired effects <laughs> how about a little sort of reptilian ear hole i believe i'm just going progressively more and more reptilian with this fellow <laughs> all right so Hmm. How is that turning out for you? Put some worry lines on there. Maybe some extra bumps. And almost finished. Almost finished. Let's see. Now the only difficult thing to figure out here is uh, if and where <laughs> I am to sign this thing in the end. So, do you have a special place you get your pumpkins from every year? Do you go straight to a pumpkin patch? Or a favorite grocery store? Perhaps a farmer's market nearby. Different places, of course, will carry different kinds of pumpkins. You may get 
go to a place that has all great big ones or a place that has teeny tiny ones. Many, many are, are orange, of course, like this, but some are different colors. I was actually hoping for a white one, but right in the moment when I was seeking them out, and when my assistant was seeking out pumpkins for me, they were not to be found. So we make do and are grateful for what we have. Oh, right. So that is the pumpkin. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh. Is that a little too shiny for you? Is that a little too hard to see? <laughs> oh, tell me, what do you think I should have used? Do you think this uh, paint marker was all it uh, is cracked up to be? Or should I have done something else? Well, <laughs> whatever your thoughts are, perhaps they may be sated for, I did start this entire video by saying there would be double of everything right well i have a little confession to make this pumpkin right here is not really a true pumpkin at all it is a plastic facsimile a bucket really so i cannot just sit by that so how about we remove the false pumpkin and move on to the real stuff <laughs> also I think I am going to leave out the paint marker this time and go for the good old <laughs> chisel tip. Yes. So how about one more pumpkin monster? <laughs> monster D style. Ready? Here comes that timer again. And we have once more begun. <laughs> Now, I did say Monster D style, and I meant it. <laughs> Going to give this fellow some fancy facial hair. Nice pointy nose. and some crazy teeth. See if I can work that into some sort of demonic smile there. There we go. Now, see the last drawing, I was filling in parts to make up uh, sort of holes or would be holes in the character. Now I'm doing the same trick, but instead for things like facial hair and other details. <laughs> uh. Now, how is that? A little bit scarier. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the stem, too, a little longer than the average stem. Of course, stemming from this also being not quite the biggest pumpkin in the world, but it has attitude, it has feeling. I like it. <laughs> I'm going to give this fellow some sideburns. Some sideburns. Just going to go all around. Back around. Ears make the sideburns. Ooh. <laughs> There we go. Now, let's really fill in the sides. 
Give this fellow a nice big monster mane. <laughs> so when I'm done drawing this fellow, do you think I should just leave him as is, or should I actually attempt to carve this fellow uh, in this shape as well? What do you think? <laughs> Feel free to let me know in those comments below. <laughs> Also, let me know what sort of Halloween-y things you would like to see in a future Halloween special. Movie reviews, holiday music, more and more monsters. I love hearing your ideas, your thoughts, your suggestions. You never know just how quickly they may work themselves into a future video. <laughs> All right, almost there. Going to deepen those sort of cheekbones, make them stand out a little bit more. Both sides. There we go. Darken those eyes. Darken those eyes. There we go. Not sure why I decided to follow the natural ridges of the pumpkin with my marker, but it just seemed to fit in, you know? Sometimes you just follow your instincts where they lead you. So there we go. Almost there. Oh, <laughs> and there is my real pumpkin monster. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> See a uh, bit of a resemblance there? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> if you enjoyed that, <laughs> as well as this double size Halloween special entire, will you please claw that like button and toll that bell so you can be ready, willing, and salivating for the very next episode of The Real Monster D. Happy Halloween and stay monstrous! Rawr!